Hi guys, it's me. So welcome back to my channel. Um, if you are a long time subscriber of mine, you know something's a little different. I don't have my glasses on. I can see. I don't have contacts in. Uh, the reason I don't have my glasses on is because I am filming super late at night. It's like 11.24. I should say recording, not filming. It makes me sound like I'm a professional, which I'm not. This is an iPad, you can tell. So it's 11.30 at night. I'm in my bedroom. It's very grainy. I hope the video doesn't come across that grainy as I'm seeing it. I hope it's a little bit clearer. But if I put my glasses on here, they're right here, I'll show you. If I put them on, you get the glare of my um, light up there. And that's super duper annoying. So, moving on. This video is a little bit different for me. And this is going to be like a my uh, first impressions video. I was at Shopco and saw a really cool clearance idea. I'm hoping everything is in there. I didn't even bother to look. Um, this is Sally Hansen Salon Effects Real Nail Polish Strips. Lasts up to 10 days. No try to dry time. Peel and apply. So they're regularly $9.99 and they were on sale for $99. Probably not going to focus. Whatever. And so this is what the pattern is supposed to be. It's not very trendy. It's not very summery, springish. But as a mom, you know, I've always wondered about these. I haven't really looked to see if there's any videos on how to apply or anything like that. But for 99 cents, I thought, oh my gosh, you can't pass this up. And if it's something I do like, then maybe I might spend the 9.99 on it or you know whatever. So it says fits all nail polish nail. <laughs> fits all nails. There are supposed to be 16 nail polish strips, a cuticle stick, mini file, and buffer. And underneath the sticker it says, I think how to take it off. What does it say? Removes with polish remover. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to open this little thing up. It says no DBP, toluene, or formaldehyde. Okay. Easy to use, peel, apply, and shape. Alright, so you get these little two little foil packs, and they are sealed. So that's interesting. I would assume eight on each. Since there's 16 in the pack. Why is there 16? That's kind of goofy. Okay. And then you've got the little package here. You open that up. If you hear any noise in the background, my daughter is sleeping and she has strep throat. Alright, we have got, is she going to wake up? That'd be my luck. So we've got the little nail thing, it's you know, slanted on this side, and then pokey on this side. We have the cutest little nail file, oh my goodness, I would stick this right in my purse. Um, it's smooth on this side, gritty on this side. And then we have the instructions. Start with clean dry nails, I just removed all my nail polish. Push back cuticles with wooden stick. Alright, we can do that quickly. So, what's new with everybody? I guess this is going to be a chit chat and first impressions. We're pushing the cuticles back. I hope you all had a great Easter. We uh, spent Saturday at my mom's and did an egg hunt and Easter dinner. And then Sunday we went to my husband's mom's and just had a nice dinner there. And then she had uh, some baskets for the kid or a basket for each of the kids. Grace really enjoyed that. She loved the Easter egg hunt. She was kind of disappointed because some people were trying to explain to her that the Easter Bunny was kind of like Santa. So she thought she was going to hit the mother load. And then the end said, Easter Bunny brings me small presents. So. She was so cute when she came down and seen her basket. We didn't hide it the greatest. We just stuck it on the back of the couch, kind of. Um, so she came downstairs. She's like, oh. She went running for the couch. And she got right before the couch. And she just face planted down. Because she's full of excitement. Such a nut. Okay. Shape free edge of nail with hot pink side of file. Sharp. Shape free edge of nail with hot pink side of file. What does that mean? Shape free edge of nail. 
Does that mean... Oh, does that mean do the whole thing? Shape free edge of a nail with hot pink side. Oh, probably the tips, huh? This is going to wrap around there. Okay. Oh, I hope this isn't picked up really well on the microphone thingy here because I know this is like nails on a chalkboard for some people. Sorry. I need to get better at looking at the camera. I look at myself instead of at you guys. So annoying. If you catch me doing it in my videos, just yell at me. Leave it in the comment. Hey lady, knock it off. Oh, poor baby. I feel so bad for her. Alright, I think that's what I'm supposed to do. Let's see. Gently smooth the surface of nails with white side of file. Oh. I just thought that was the back. Okay. So last night was a rough one for Grace. She had no signs or symptoms or anything. And then last night, mid evening, she got runny nose and the eyes. And I thought, oh my gosh, she's coming out with allergies. We gave her Claritin. She went to bed. About midnight, she started tossing and turning and whining. And by 2 a.m., she was in bed with us. By 4 a.m. she was on fire, and by 8 a.m. she had 102 temp under her armpits. Okay, smoothed off, and they kind of got a little bit of sheen to them. Now, give nails one last swipe of col nail color remover to remove any excess dirt and oil. This step is extremely important as it helps your manicure last look. Well, crud, all right, hold on. All right, so this video is going to be super long. Get my nail polish removal. So yeah, by 8 a.m. we had 102 fever. We started doing the Tylenol. She asked for her breakfast, which she always does milk and a granola bar. And she drank about two sips of the milk and two bites of the granola bar. And just became a lump on my couch for the next few hours. I kept checking her temp and Tylenol every, you know, four hours as it said. And by... Two this afternoon, nothing was working, no fever change, so I called, and because she had no other symptoms, they're like, bring her in, they did the rapid strep test, it started to come back negative, but then turned to positive, so we are on now amoxicillin and ibuprofen. So she's finally sleeping a little bit. The poor thing, I caught her sleeping on the floor in different rooms. Alright, so we did that. Use warm hands for maximum flexibility and stretch. These are some really weird instructions. Number one, select best fitting nail strip for each nail. Remove clear protective plastic cover, then peel nail polish strip from the backing paper. All right, I guess we'll go ahead and open these. So I don't think this is gonna be saving me any time in the doing your nails world. This is, what is that? Okay, really? You open this, and it's still sealed. What the heck? What the heck is going on? Okay, and opening the other one didn't open any better. Jeez! It's a fight. Alright, so here's what one of them looks like. Now I gotta select my nails. Okay, let me do that. Alright, so I have selected the thing the sizes. Peel. Remove clear protective plastic cover. Then peel nail polish strip from the backing paper. Okay, so the clear is the top one here. So we've peeled that. Okay. Then peel nail polish strip from backing paper. Oh, that's the whole thing here. Alright. Maybe. <laughs> Alright, peeling that off. Peeling 
choose the side of the strip that fits the shape of your cuticles. Break silver tab from strip. Okay, I don't know if you guys are able to see that silver tab there, so we're going to peel that off. Place strip against cuticle line. Hold strip at the center for maximum control. Okay, so this is my pink. Is this my pinky? Must be. Good lord, you need help for this. Alright. You guys, this is not... Really? Well, it obviously did not go on straight. Look at that, you guys. Hold strip at the center for maximum control. That didn't work. Press strip, strip to nail. Gently stretch strip for perfect fit. Firmly smooth over entire nail. It just broke right off. Firmly smooth. Run flat side of cuticle stick along edge of strip to firmly bond strip to nail. Smooth excess over nail edge, forming a crease around the edge of the nail. Gently file away the excess. Okay. We're going to use this. We're going to stuff it down in. Okay. Well, I can tell you already, I don't particularly care for it. These things are ripping already. See that? Just by pushing it down. I don't know how they think I'm going to wrap it around the edge of my finger. Look at it's already missing. And then you're supposed to wrap it around the edge of your nail. Gently file away the excess. Okay, well that's not going to work. Okay, so there's the first nail. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest and I will come back. Alright guys, I wanted to hop on here, guys, I wanted to hop on here really quick and tell you, it is 1141 and I just finished the second nail. We are going to see how long it takes to do the rest of these, okay? It's 1141 p.m. Alright guys, so it's 1155, so that took about 14 minutes. So let's go ahead and let's, let's discuss this. Um, obviously not a time saver, whatever. Here's something to know though. I had set 10 aside, obviously one per nail, and I only ended up having to use... Um, six of them because here's what happens when you go ahead and you put this on your finger and you pull it off you end up still with a good half and for me with my length I was able to turn that around and do the next nail um, and then here's a problem I had was it's supposed to like wrap around and you're supposed to file the edge you know gently kind of smooth it around your nails it, it this stuff is just so I, I'm not even sure what it's made of but it, it just I mean it tears let me see if I can find a little piece here that I didn't have to use. This was, um, here we go. Come on. They're sticky. They're, they're sticky, but they're not sticky. I don't know if that makes sense. So here, here's a piece that, you know, obviously I use and you can just watch how easily it just, I mean, it just, it just pulls apart. So when you're, you know, it says to lightly pull it to kind of help it, um, create a seal. Um, what does it say? Gently stretch strip for perfect fit. The minute you try and stretch it, 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 it snaps. So if you're going to do that, make sure you're kind of holding it towards the tip of... I mean, you got to use your other finger and kind of hold it towards the tip when you're pulling. Because I was just going to pull it up. So it didn't fold under right. I'm not sure if you can even tell if you can see on the very tips of my nails or not. This, this one kind of maybe a little bit. But otherwise, none of them really went under. Um, the other thing is, is you're kind of, when you're using this tool... And you're kind of pushing, I, I keep watching my clock here because I think I'm running out of space. And you're slowly pushing it down into like your cuticle area to kind of make sure it tapers in. This will start to cut it. So I, there's a couple of nails, especially in the beginning, where I, I kind of tore it off. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to tell, like, but right yet. Yeah, see, like right there as I was trying to shove it down in, it busted. The pattern is super cute. I would definitely probably purchase these if I was going to, like, to a, an event and I wanted really cute nails and I wanted to be perfect. Um, 
obviously for longevity I can't tell right now this is just a first impression and I just put this on I will try my best to make an April favorites and um, not a Friday favorites but an April favorites and if you know and, and reflect back in that video on this if it's lasted because today is the 23rd I believe oh my gosh I don't even have how do I not know what day of the week it is? Like, seriously? Technically, it's midnight now. So technically the 23rd. But we'll go with Tuesday the 22nd that I apply these. Um, so I don't know how they're going to hold up with dishes. I don't know how they're going to hold up with child care, changing diapers. I feel like these are just going to start peeling up. With it saying that, um, you know, remove with nail polish remover, I feel like that, that's not going to be necessary. I feel like they're literally just going to peel off. Now, I do have a good bit left, um, obviously because it came with 16 and I only had to choose 6. But some of these sizes are like crazy ridiculous. I guess maybe if you're going to do your toes, but I mean, like like seriously, who who who's doing that? that? That's literally the size of my thumb, not my thumbnail. So I don't know. I guess if you wanted matching toes, and then some of these, like this is super duper skinny, I mean, it, it, I might have gotten away with that one, yeah, maybe the other end, some of these are smaller in the bottom, and then, um, as they go up, so that you can decide, you know, is it going to work best this way, or the other way, so, for me at this point, for a one night event, I, I'm going to rate this as a one time thing not not on longevity because like I said I can't do that for one time thing for 99 cents I say definitely worth it I am glad I went ahead and spent the seven dollars because because it's cute thought you know really seriously and if it even lasts a day I mean there's nail polishes out there that don't last 20 minutes so I mean at that rate if you're going to an event you're going to do your nails quick before you run out the door hey perfect um, I, I would not, at this point, I would not pay $9.99 for these. I would go to the salon and get my nails done if I had $10 to splurge on this ridiculousness. Um, unless, unless these actually do hold off for t uh, 10 days, which I, I just, I'm not seeing it happen. If they last 10 days, I might, I might spend $9. Five might be a little more realistic. Um... So for me, I'm going to make a scale, and I'm going to say on a scale of 1 to 10, first impression, I'm going to give this a, I'm going to give it a 6. It's not horrible, I'm a little more impressed than I thought I was going to be, it took forever, but I mean it's a super cute pattern, they're shiny, they're cute, like I said, I mean, I this was, this was the only pattern I seen because it was in the clearance section, I'm sure there's more. Um, so I'm going to give it a 6 for cuteness, and I mean it was easy to do, but painstaking, if that makes sense. It wasn't like the most difficult thing in the world to do, but it was kind of annoying. Um, so yeah, I'm going to give it a 6 at this point for my first impression. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already and give me a thumbs up if you like this video Let me know if you like this kind of thing. I think this is like my second first impressions video that I've done um, My first was on the Maybelline skin Baby baby skin Maybelline baby skin. I believe it was um, so you can go ahead and look for that I will try and link it down below, but don't 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 hold me to that and um, suggestions for other videos or whatever, go ahead and leave them as well. And I will see you guys in my next video.